Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. Today we're gonna discover uh, the Airbus A220-100 from Eastern Express. So I received the box uh, a while ago and uh, it was uh, of course not in a, in a cardboard uh, box. So here it is just out of the box. So we're gonna unveil the kit together and then we're gonna do the build. So we're going to start uh, our kit with the fuselage and the fuselage is in two parts, sandwich part and I have to say that it's uh, very light and all the panel lines are thinly engraved in the plastic which is going to make my job uh, very nice and I have some clear part so I have the cockpit of course and uh, I have some uh, landing lights then we're going to go through the wings so the uh, under part of the wings is in a single part and I guess we're gonna attach it with the other two parts so so far all the pattern lines are very lightly uh, mold and it seems to be in a very nice uh, shape I believe it's gonna be a nice kit to build but uh, we will check this out later on so now we have one of the main sprue I see we have some uh, cockpit uh, assembly we're gonna be able to do and we also have the horizontal stab, the wheel well, of course the wheels, winglets and the undercarriage with some uh, wing fairing, I mean flaps fairing. The last sprue is mainly the tail and all the uh, engine assembly. Uh, engine assembly seems to be well, you have the core of the engine, the fan, fan disc, turbine and the exhaust pipe and uh, we'll see if we can uh, do some nice detailing on that part as well. So very nice little kit so far and uh, let's see what do we have now as the instruction sheet and the decal sheet. So the decal sheets allow us to make uh, two livery. So we have the Swiss livery who was the launch customer for the uh, A220 and we have also a Delta Airlines livery. So the livery is, as you can see, color and it's on a separated sheet of paper. Now let's have a look on the uh, assembly, the guidelines. So we have a list of all the parts and then basically pretty straightforward instruction uh, to build that kit. So enough talking. And let's start uh, building this uh, very lovely kit. So we're going to start uh, this model by preparing our parts. Initially, I will start to prepare the cockpit and I will glue the, the wheels together. So there is a little bit of preparation, as you will see a little bit later on uh, with a close-up. The sprues basically goes inside the part and uh, it requires a little bit more adjusting and filling. So uh, for that, I use uh, the regular uh, needle glue uh, from Rebel, as you can see, and then I will assemble the cockpit. Then that I will later on uh, disassemble again, as uh, I had uh, some fitting issue uh, for the cockpit and the fuselage. As you can see, it required, you know, on the main wings as well, you have always a little bit of remain of plastic on, uh, on that sprues, and you can see here. So you have to go really inside the, the mold to remove that extra plastic. So I added a little bit of weight, as you can see, of course, then I don't want my airplane to uh, sit on its tail, and then I had to glue it together. And you will see that uh, it requires a little bit of uh, adjusting, especially for uh, the cockpit window later on.
Now let's build uh, our engines and for this uh, it will uh, require a little bit of uh, fiddling. So the fan and the turbine come in the same uh, first part and they have to be glued uh, one on the back of each other and then we're gonna do the, the core and the exhaust pipe as well. So after that we're gonna have to uh, let it dry for a while and then uh, we're gonna be able to put our cockpit window. So as you can see, I had to remove a part of the cockpit because I had some uh, issue fitting basically the, the clear part and the cockpit window. And as I'm using normally uh, clear decal, it was not a, a big issue. But uh, I have to say that uh, due to the problems I had with fiddling this, I had to put an extra uh, set of putty and uh, after that uh, I had to do a lot of uh, sanding and using mainly um, mainly using a file to get it out of proper shape. I had the same type of issue that we had on the 777 from Minicraft. So now that our uh, putty has dry, it's time for the sanding and uh, removing uh, all the filling all the gaps so uh, after that so i use a standard uh, file for that windows to get it out of correct shape as uh, there was uh, a pretty big gap i would say about half a half a millimeter almost so uh, it required a little bit of, uh, of time of course and sanding and using some uh, very thin uh, sandpaper to uh, to arrive to the correct uh, finish so uh, once uh, this was done i start to fit uh, some uh, the tail basically of the uh, of the aircraft and then uh, we start gluing the wings one by one as I had to do a little bit more uh, adjusting later on. So uh, after that when uh, this, uh, the glue will be uh, drying I'll start to paint uh, the engine fan. So those are uh, basically of a matte black, uh, the XF1 from Tamiya and uh, after that we'll do the leading edge of the, of the propeller blades basically. So uh, I had to also uh, do a uh, filling some more uh, gaps between the tail and the fuselage. Of course, let it dry and send it down once again, as it's uh, the normal uh, pattern on our, uh, on our modeling. So uh, after that, I had to uh, do another finish to make sure that uh, all the edges were really uh, very smooth and I had a pretty uh, nice finish on our cockpit. So uh, while we're finishing this, I will add also the winglets on uh, those wings and uh, I'll uh, fit them and it ha I have to say that these, uh, the, the way the plastic is injected give a little bit more work to do uh, to, to get uh, some uh, little parts and some small parts to, to get fitted basically on the, on the kit itself. So now we are going to uh, put our uh, wings next uh, on our fuselage and uh, the problem I had on the, that part was uh, there was a little gap and the plastic was a little bit uh, bended so I had to use some clamp uh, to basically get the, the fuselage really uh, on, the, on the wings and to avoid that, uh, that problem. After that of course I had to uh, fill the gaps with uh, some putty, let it dry and again uh, a lot of sanding. So we're now going to uh, continue uh, the painting of our engines. So now I'm going to use uh, a mix of white and uh, gray that I'm going to put on the on the engine, basically on the core itself and uh, on the mount and uh, some parts. And of course I'll have to let it dry and then put some uh, metallic parts a little bit later on. So while this is drying, I'm going to put the uh, the flaps fairing 
onto the wings and uh, I'm gonna glue them together of course and uh, while this is uh, will be drying now I'll be able to use some metallic parts paint so what I'll do is uh, I'll uh, put some uh, I, I'm using basically an enamel uh, from Umbro and uh, for this I will be able to paint the leading edge of the blade on, uh, on those engines after that I will also uh, paint basically the rear parts and the exhaust pipes and I had to do some uh, close-up uh, pictures basically to have the proper uh, to have the proper shape on that uh, on that engine So after that I had to use some uh, grain color basically as there is uh, when you get some close-up uh, picture there is a ring next to the fan on that uh, engine and then of course I uh, once it was dry uh, I put basically some adhesive tape and it was about two millimeters uh, cut and then of course I had to let it dry inside the engine so while this is was drying I start to paint uh, the model itself so for that I use uh, gloss white from uh, Tamiya and the model is in all white wings, fuselage uh, and, uh, and the stab as well so it was a pretty uh, easy thing uh, to do uh, except that uh, the leading edge are of course uh, in a silver color so uh, after that I was uh, using some putty to fill the gaps on that engine and then I was able to uh, fit basically uh, the, the ring completely around the fan so I did this while that was drying and then I was able to do uh, a proper fit then of course I had to uh, sand the put it down and uh, once it was done then I was able to uh, fill this up with uh, another uh, black ring uh, around that engine and of course after that uh, the engines are in uh, full white color so uh, after that I used the uh, still the, the airbrush and I was uh, painting basically all the rest so once my engine were completely uh, painted in white then I start to paint using that silvery color uh, all the leading edge uh, of the, those engines and to be able to, uh, to finish them up. So as you can see there is basically the first leap which is in silver color and then you have uh, a ring of black and a ring of uh, green. After that I start uh, painting basically with a uh, with paintbrush and I was painting all the leading edge uh, on that uh, on those leading edge uh, basically I was painting the leading edge of the aircraft with this using that silver color using a paintbrush So uh, after fitting uh, the undercarriage, it was time to start uh, the decaling process of uh, that uh, aircraft. So uh, I have to say that the decal were uh, very soft, very easy to use and to handle. Uh, there was one thing I have uh, I could complain about was basically the misshape of uh, the tail decal, uh, as it was not at the correct shape. Uh, it was a little bit too short, and uh, so. It could not basically replicate the, the real uh, the real color of Swiss. I still used it, and you will see the, the end result toward the end. 
but that's uh, basically the, the back row uh, of those uh, of that DKI sheet. Uh, beside that, everything went very well, and uh, then you will see the, the end result toward the end. But uh, for me, actually, the main thing is if I have to compare with what you pay and what you have, uh, I think it's a little bit overpriced for the quality uh, you have uh, on that kit. So this is the end result of that Airbus 220 from Eastern Express with the Swiss livery and you can see mainly on the tail what I was talking about. So I hope you enjoyed that build with me. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you soon for another review and another build video. Thank you for watching.